Hi guys! So I'm gonna read this book, um, Spiny Sea Star. Let's see what happens. Spiny Sea Star was a spiny skinned animal. He was made up of prickly little plates that helped him move. So we have our Sea Star. Let's count how many arms he has. He's got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five arms. His five arms formed the shape of a star. Spiny was often called a starfish, but he wasn't a fish at all. Spiny had tiny eyes, one at the end of each arm, but he didn't have good eyesight and saw only dark or light. So we have our star shape over here, and he can only see dark and light. Thousands of tube feet lined his spiny arms. There were little gills on them. Spiny could breathe through his feet. The star-shaped creature lived with his family at the bottom of the sea. The sea stars could walk along one arm at a time. Tiny suction cups on their tube feet helped them move. So he's got these little tiny little tubes on his feet that can help him walk. You can see better over here. All those little tubes. Spiny's brothers and sisters moved slowly so they could sneak up on clams. A favorite food. But Spiny pulled himself along the bottom as fast as he could. Spiny Sea Star just wanted to be different. What fun, he thought, as he made the sand swirl near clam bed. But the clams clammed up and he couldn't get any meat. See all of his brothers and sisters. Let's count how many starfish there are. We've got one, two, three, four, and five. And so we have our Sea Star over here. He's making up, picking up all the sand. So they can't get the clams. Let's count the clams too. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven clams. Spiny, spiny, can't catch a clammy, his brothers and sisters chanted. They knew that a sea star needs to sneak up and put its arms around a clam. A sea star must hold on tight, they told Spiny until the clam opens up to breathe. Then you can slurp a juicy treat. So we have our sea stars over here. Let's see, we have one, two, three, and four. So now he's trying to get the clam to open up. But Spiny didn't take time to learn from others. He wondered out loud, why can't I catch a clam? A big sea star slowly pulled herself, arm after arm, over to his side. It was Grandma Gracie, the grandest sea star of all. So we have Spiny and Grandma Gracie. Watch your brothers and sisters, she said. See how they take time to catch a clam. But Spiny just didn't want to listen. He still rushed around, quickly grabbing clam after clam, but the clams clammed up again. See, we have all those brothers and sisters over here trying to catch those clams, but Spiny is just too quick, and he scares them. One day, Spiny hurried so fast that two of his arms tried to go to the left side, and the other three tried to go to the right. Grandma Gracie saw him just in time. You could break into pieces doing that, she warned. Spiny sank down and pretended not to listen. So see, he's got one, two arms trying to go this way, and one, two, three arms trying to go that way. That's not very safe, but Grandma's trying to tell him you gotta slow down. Let me tell you about your cousin, Silly Sea Star, Grandma Gracie said. When he was just a little star, he moved so fast that he broke into five pieces. He grew into five new stars and never was the same again. 
But Spiny didn't listen. That's just a tall tale, he said. So see, we have our sea star and he broke into five pieces. In each, each of his five legs. And he grew into five new sea stars. One night, Spiny dreamed about Silly Sea Star. He saw Spiny arms fly off and grow into five new stars. Spiny woke up with a start. Grandma Gracie pulled over to him. What's wrong, she asked. I was seeing stars, he exclaimed. So he has Spiny Sea Star over here. He's dreaming about turning into five sea stars. And look how many sea stars are over here. Grandma Gracie listened quietly as he told her about his dream. There's just one thing to do, she said. You must slow down. At last, her words began to make sense. Maybe I will listen to her, Spiny thought. He began to creep arm after arm looking for clams. So she's telling him he needs to slow down. And so here he is creeping over to catch this clam over here. Spiny sneaked up on a clam and put his five arms around it. He waited patiently. When the clam opened its mouth, Spiny slurped a tasty treat. Grandma Gracie was right, he said to himself. If you take the time, you can find many more treats in life. So he slowed down and he was finally able to get that clam. Let's count how many clams are over here wrapped in bows. So we have one, two, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine clams. Let's see, we have a red bow, we have an orange bow, a yellow bow, we have a white bow, and we have two blue bows and another red bow and a striped bow, and a polka dot bow. And ever after, Spiny was a happy sea star. I think he's dancing. How cool is that?